Hi everyone, I'm Zanana Rose and this is Natural Living with Zanana. If this is your first time here, welcome. On my YouTube channel, I share information, tips, and product reviews to help you live a more natural, sustainable, healthy, and non-toxic lifestyle. Today, I'm bringing you an unboxing video. My husband found this great product and I'm gonna share it with you and then at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna try the product so you'll have a taste test as well. So hang out here with us for a little bit while we unbox this new product and actually try it so you'll know exactly what we think of it by the end of the video. So my husband found this product on social media somewhere and it's called Creo Brew and it's basically brewed cacao. On the front it says it's not coffee, it's cacao. And it's supposed to be a little bit of a coffee replacement or replace your urge to drink coffee that's a little healthier that has a lot less caffeine. So then here on the box it says all you need is love and cacao. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Now when we open the box we've got a little card that talks about Creo Brew. It says brews like coffee, tastes like heaven, it's superfood packed with nutrients, honest energy, and 100% pure ground cacao. And it looks like we've got several little bags in the box. I'm going to set this over here for a second and then we'll come back to that because I'm going to tell you some really interesting information about this cacao. So the box includes five different bags. These are mini bags, it looks like. A little bit of a sample pack so that we can try some of the different flavors and different cacaos that are from different regions. This is from Venezuela, medium roast. And this one is from Ghana. It's a light roast. It says chocolatey and smooth. And this one's from Ecuador. This is a French roast. It's bright and robust. And then we've got Nicaragua and it's a medium roast. This one actually says on it USDA organic. So that's exciting. When I looked at the website, I got all the information about this product and they said that even though the bags don't all say organic, that most of them are organic but just some of the countries that they work with do not have certification programs for organic. That's why only some of them say organic, but they work very closely with all of the farmers and the farmers are not using chemicals on their cacao crops. You can trust that these are chemical free and that's what we're all about here on our channel is just making sure that we're choosing products that are healthy and safe without any toxic chemicals or at least minimal toxic chemicals present. This is a great product to help us with that goal and that mission. And the last one is Ghana French Roast. It says bold and roasty. These are keto approved, Whole30 approved. They are non-GMO and they are paleo. They have no sugar added. It really is just the pure ground cacao beans. And what you do is you put either the whole bag in your larger French press or you can do two tablespoons of grounds in eight ounces of water in order to brew a cup of the cacao. It says that it has 20 calories in those two tablespoons. And then like we said, it is not sweetened, so you can add your own sweetener. I'll put stevia in mine and you could do monk fruit or whatever other sweetener you like and basically brew it the way that you like it. I'll add uh, my califia almond, milk creamer and I'm sure it's gonna be super tasty. I can't wait to taste it, you guys. So, like I said, there's five bags here. The other one, the Ecuador French Roast, USDA Organic. So both of these are certified organic and the rest are organically grown but just not certified due to the country that they originated from. Now, the other thing that he talks about is fair trade and that these are all fair trade 
if they can't do fair trade, they're doing direct trade because again, certain countries do not have fair trade certification. So he does the best that he can with that. The other thing that you need to know about the product is that it's 99.9% .9 caffeine free. It contains 10 milligrams of caffeine, that's it. So I'm curious how that is going to make me feel because I actually don't drink caffeine. It's a little hard on me. It triggers my adrenals a little bit too much. So for me, I need something that has very little or no caffeine. So I'll let you know how this works for me. It does have theobromine in it, which is a different naturally occurring stimulant that actually does give you a little bit of energy but not the same like jittery kind of buzz that caffeine can give you. So that's kind of cool. Also, cacao has a lot of polyphenols in it, which can help to curb appetite. And it can be a super great tool for weight loss. If you're trying to lose weight, it can help you to feel a little bit more full so that you don't feel like you need to eat. So it can be an appetite suppressant. So that's another really neat and interesting fact about it as well. Now, we also talked about it being a superfood. So it is packed with lots of antioxidants and magnesium, and it can help boost your immune system. It's really great for brain health, bone health, and heart health too. So really, really good for you on so many levels. I will put a link to the company website in the description so you can check it out. They have a great FAQ page that has all of the information that I just shared with you, plus a whole lot more about the company and about the product, how they ground it, how they found it and created the company. So it's really interesting. I enjoyed it. I'll put the link down there. If you're interested, you can check it out. I'm going to go ahead and brew some of it up and then I will come back to you with a little taste test and we can talk about what we think of the cacao. But first, if you're enjoying this information, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me on my channel. If you can like the video, share it with your friends or family. If you know someone who might really enjoy this cacao and appreciate the information in this video, definitely subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more great non-toxic USDA organic and natural superfoods like this cacao. Make sure to hit the little bell too so that you get notified of the videos as soon as they come out. Now stay tuned, I'll be right back with the taste test. along with me so he can taste it too and we can get his opinion as well. So we brewed it for six to eight minutes and then it said stir it and uh, leave it for another two minutes. So I did that. Oh, it seems like all of the grounds are now at the bottom of the pot. Babe, I'm squirting it out. <laughs> I'm squirting it out of the press, but now it's working. I've made a mess. But that's okay, I'm sure it will taste great just the same. This is Chris's Sagittarius mug. Okay, so there's Chris's cup. And now we'll pour my cup. We'll see how I made it, if it's too strong or just right. I did do two tablespoons, like it suggested, but I was thinking we would have more like four cups out of this. Now I got the milk and I got a little bit of stevia, but why don't we taste it without the milk first and just see what it's like like this. Cheers, dear. <laughs> Sagittarius mug, Scorpio mug, here we go. Wow, 
It's pretty strong. Mm. Tastes like coffee. I actually thought it would taste a little more chocolatey, but it tastes a lot like coffee. What do you think? I think it tastes like chocolate. Tastes mm. like super dark chocolate, unsweetened. Mm -hmm. And we did try medium roast. This is the medium roast Venezuela. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some cream in mine. Do you want some cream in yours? Mm -hmm. Got a little cream. I'm gonna add stevia to mine. You like yours just the way it is? I'll try it without first. Okay, he wants no stevia. I'm just gonna put like six drops and let's see what happens. Stevia is pretty strong, so you don't need that much. Stirring it up, stirring Chris's. Now let's try it again. Wow. Now it tastes a little more like chocolate. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. I will say two drops of stevia. Okay, <laughs> two drops of stevia. Good. I put three drops. <laughs> Oops. Stir it up. Now let's give it one more try. delicious. Yum. I think it would be perfect on a cold day where you want to cozy up and have a nice cup of chocolate or even just in the morning instead of your coffee. So I'm excited to try the other flavors and see what it's all about. But for now, I think we're giving it a thumbs up. This is a great product if you're looking for something different from coffee or just another hot beverage to drink. Uh, something that has a lot of nutritional value, at least more nutritional value than coffee, and is non-toxic, fair trade, organic, try Creo Brew. That's our review, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. If you have tried Creo Brew, let us know what you think, and we'll look forward to seeing you back here. Give this video a like if you had fun watching it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified when the next video is coming out. And we'll look forward to seeing you back here again really soon. Take care, friends, and I wish you the very best of health. Cheers, friends.